Hey guys, it's Silvertorn here, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. I don't think there's anything this way, so I'm gonna go this way anyway. Because reasons. This is gonna be a fun week. Oh well. Um, what happened last time? I got grenades last time, and what else did I get last time? That is the wrong button. That's what I got last time. Okay, I am more on top of things. The only thing over here is a potion. There are a lot of... Uh, yeah. That was it. There are a lot of rooms in this game which are mostly pointless, just like map completion. Like, they don't even really have a piece of equipment you can't get otherwise. I mean, some of them... Oh, hey, bat power. Bat power, yay. Like, some of them do have equipment that you can't get otherwise, but for the most part, it's just a room that exists. Some of them have a soul you can't get otherwise, like this room here money. That's it. I mean, granted, 500 is nothing to sneeze at, but it's just money. Um, what else is there? Potion we got is health restored. Do -do -do -do. We're going places. We still don't know why we're going to the Master Chamber. A bunch of stuff I really went about over last time. I'm really annoyed that I wasn't feeling well for a week because I don't remember what I did the last time I recorded. Which was quite a while ago now. A while ago. Oh. Hey. So, we're introduced to a new character. There are enough scenes like this where you have, like, story time with the various other characters, and we're introduced to another human character, Graham Jones. And as he claims, he's a missionary. Well, so he claims he's a missionary. He seems to know a bit more about us than we actually do do, or at least how we got here, than we actually do. And he's a bit more informed, a lot more informed about this castle than Soma is. Like, he already knows for a fact that it is Dracula's castle. As if all the monsters, zombies, and skeletons we've been fighting aren't clue enough, Soma. But yes, he gets into a thing here, while Dracula's castle might exist in Europe, Castlevania exists elsewhere. And how can you not believe in vampires after seeing zombies and skeletons and living armor and everything? But yeah, he goes on to mention how normally this is the domain of the church. The church will handle Dracula, getting rid of Dracula, all the monsters that appear, all that stuff. And yet, the church has been noticeably absent yet. Another spoiler, Dracula is dead. As in complete legit dead, he was killed in 1999. And they reference Nostr Nostradamus, if I'm pronouncing his name right, in his prophecy, Dracula was, re Dracula was resurrected in 1999, vampire hunters completely destroyed him. And his regeneration cycle, by putting his castle in the eclipse. And of course, there's more to the story, which very few people seem to know, but a new master comes to the castle and gets all of Dracula's powers. Which is kind of insane. At least Graham seems nice enough. Seems. At least kinder than Arikato seems. Oh well. He walks up this way and we don't see him again till the next story time when he's involved. Um, I suppose I should mention those doors. The doors like that and this screen here is a flat out zone change, essentially. I suppose it would be, like, in the place of a loading screen. That makes sense. I don't know how much loading would need to be done on these games. Let's go up here. I don't think we can actually get everything up here, and we'll have to come back up here again later. But I'm gonna come, come, <coughs> I'm gonna come up here anyway. And... Doop. Let's go down. I don't feel like fighting that axe armor on the stairs. And up the other side. This is the same room, by the way. Fun fact. Four hits to kill an axe armor. I'm usually going to be keeping track of how many hits it takes to kill an, an enemy over how many, how much damage I do. For the most part, like them here, you can see it takes two grenades and a sword. Two grenades and a sword. And die, you stupid ghost. Ghosts are another enemy. If I haven't already said this, I might have already said this. Another enemy that will respawn infinitely. They are not that special in any regard. They are obnoxious. Another axe armor to kill. Okay, level up. Leveling up 
Is leather plate better than what I'm using? I need to learn how to button. Leather plate is better than what I'm using, and I've never actually equipped it. Good to know. Because leather plate we actually got in the previous video, it was just, it wasn't a rare drop, it was just on the ground. You can walk on bells, they do this. I hate you. But yeah, that's just an example there of the flying armor not actually slowing your descent, it's just your acceleration. And getting hit by an enemy will push your acceleration to its maximum value. Just a little interesting tidbit to know. So you could not use the, um, it really completely gets rid of your control as you fall down as fast as possible. You jerk. And there's nothing up here. Oh, you can walk on the, uh, bone pillars, I think they're called? Are they called bone pillars? Let's throw grenades at them and find out. They're called bone pillars. I should really know to just attack them low so I don't have to hit twice. There is stuff up here, but you can't actually reach any of it yet, so I'll have to come back up here at some point if I care enough. Is it on the map? It's on the map. Those are just consumables, so I don't think I care enough. I'm pretty sure there's something hidden over there. You know what? I'll come back. I'll come back. Oh yeah, there is no fall damage in this game, thankfully. Because if there was fall damage, dear lord, that would be the devil. Also, we've seen ghosts. Giant ghosts. And little demons, I think these are. Little demons are little and demonic, and very well named. Very well named. Is there anything up here? There is staircases up here. And these monsters. Durgas. Durgas are mildly annoying. I th think we need their soul at some point. Maybe it's not their soul, but a reskin of them. I don't know. I do not know off the top of my head. Okay, there's nothing really of that. Oh, there's right here. So there is something of value up here. Worth to me. Alright, then. Do -do -do. The rapier is a bit more damage. It's about the same otherwise. Nothing too special. More axe armor. There's a lot more damage to those guys. I can kill them in three hits now. And everybody wins. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but the candles and stuff will give you a heart if you're not at full mana, because hearts will increase your mana. Or help replenish your mana. Or money if you are at full mana. And money is... I think I've already mentioned that it's useful in this game. Unlike previous games where it's just score. I don't remember what I've said and what I haven't said anymore. I really don't. Yeah, killing monsters. Why must you be a jerk? Why must you be a jerk? Come to me, you little bastard. I don't even know why I'm going out of my way to kill these guys right now. I suppose, beyond just getting experience, getting the souls of the monsters is a reason to go out of your way to kill them. I think this is a save room. That's a save room. I don't need to save. Famous last words. And I got the ghost spirit, which is just I summon a ghost to fight, and it's nothing more special. This is like the first real area where I like to have grenades. Because jerks. Also, little plants there are known as une. I'm not completely convinced I'm pronouncing that right. It is French, I think? There's a joke with that, but I'll get into that joke later. Because now we have a boss fight. And this boss also telegraphs its attacks. By like twisting its tail when it's going to do that. And... Stop walking at me. Stop walking at me. I believe it's supposed to do a three-shot burst, but it's only doing... There it is. There's... God damn it. Why are you in, like, the most inopportune position? Oh, well, but he goes down easy enough. That was... Manticore? Or was it Chimera? Crap, I didn't even check its name. But as we didn't get its soul either, that will be a recurring enemy at some point. Not terribly soon, but at some point. And I will be using the backdash. Like, the backdash is probably the best method for avoiding attacks in this game, other than attacking while in the air. Also, we leave this room and come back, and actual enemies are spawned in here now. Like those ghost dancers, and I would like a ghost dancer soul. Not to mention Quetzalcoatl here. I don't completely know how this thing is considered Quetzalcoatl, but... Can I kill you? Can I kill you, please? Oof. It's an annoying monster to try to hit, if you're pretty sure you've already noticed. Very annoying monster to hit. 
it's just like a bone dragon without being attached to the wall. Alright, so, Une. There is, um... Une actually means, like... I hate Fleeman, by the way. Une actually means, like, one in... I'm gonna say French? I'm probably wrong, and it's probably a different language, but it means one in some language that is not English. There's a joke in Castlevania Order of Ecclesia, which is my favorite Castlevania game, by the way. If I had the capability of recording DS games, I would have been recording that one instead, probably. But a joke with a monster in Castlevania Order of Ecclesia, which is named the Chosen Une, which is just like a human possessed by an Une. Entire joke being that since Une means one, it is the Chosen One. Just thought I'd add that in there since I've been just killing more zombies and demons and fleemen and everything. New zone! We're going on to a new zone. Let's go to the new zone. This is the study. I don't think we're actually going to be studying much. Let's go the upper path. Upper path faces us more Durgas. Pretty sure this is a dead end, actually. So it's a good thing we're going this way first. Oof. Durgas can actually get a decent number of attacks in, and they have a decent range. They're just not that threatening overall. Can I... Is this the way... I will have to come back this way, I think. Also, student witches amuse me for reasons like they turn into a cat when they die, and they run away. You can't also hit the cat. Hitting the cat doesn't actually do anything. I'm probably going to hit the cat just to demonstrate that. Yeah, if you can kill the cat. I'm a terrible person. And this gives us a bastard sword. Wrong button. I'm doing the wrong, wrong button. Bastard sword is bigger, longer, stronger. Really, it's the better sword. Now then, we can't actually go up the right side because if you notice when I jump up here properly, that we wouldn't have the height to make it over there. So we'll have to come back. Oh yeah, you can kill them in one hit. That's convenient. Tiny devils are not the devil. The devil are fleemen. Fleemen are the most obnoxious and evil creatures to ever exist. Ever. And the winged skeleton, I'm pretty sure, is where we get our harpoon toss soul that we had at the start of the game. Uncursed Potion, that brings me out to something else. There are also various different status afflictions in this game. Okay, I got a... I got a button. I got a button, yes. The Base Lord is a strong... I should button properly. The Base Lord, which is that sword he just dropped, is a stronger weapon, but it's got such a short reach. Now this here is where you can get into the um, trade-offs of weapons. Like, this one does do more damage, but it's got such a shorter reach that I'm just going to take more damage. So I'd probably stick with this sword just because of the reach. Um, now, I was talking about the potions. There are status afflictions in this game. You saw that we got an uncursed potion back there a little bit. There are a number of afflictions in this game, like I should throw grenades. Yes, that's an affliction. I should throw grenades. Like, curse, poison, petrify... Other, other, I can't make that. I don't think I can make it down there either. So I'm not going to bother moving this box yet. By the way, you can push this box. But uh, Petrify, Curse, Poison, I'm not sure if there are others off the top of my head. We may see some of these status afflictions soon. Also, this enemy. For the longest time, I thought that Spider Body was mechanical. I've only recently realized it isn't. It is also wonderfully dressed. You don't actually see that enemy very often. Ah, there's Curse. So Curse is a stat- Wow, I'm almost dead. I am almost dead. I am almost dead, wow. Curse, what Curse does is it drains your MP and then it keeps draining your MP. You are essentially unable to regenerate mana for the duration of Curse. Which is annoying at times. And I need to be careful because I am almost dead. There should be a save point coming up. I could use a potion. I'm going to try not to. Famous last words. I'm going to use a potion. So to use items, you'd go here. Item use. I'm going to use one potion. 150 health. Should be survivable. Should be survivable. This enemy here, the Kato but the word, I, I call it a bull because I, I don't feel like pronouncing that word. If you get hit by its little breath there, you will turn to stone and be petrified. Which, actually, it could probably... I don't really need the flying soul right now, so I can demonstrate that. Oh, you have to use it on the ground, you can't be moving. So, I won't be able to do that right at this moment. I will be able to do it in a moment. But yeah, you... S Darn, I killed him instantly! Why? Also, breakable wall, breakable wall here. I remember this. You 
you get a kiwi. Or melon. Fruit. But yes. Turns a stone. That's essentially what Petrify does. You can move the... Oh god. You can move the control... Ow. The control stick to be on Petrified. Or not control stick. Just press a ton of buttons to your on Petrified. I'm going back to the flying armor. And that's usually how you fix it. Is this save? Please be save. This is save! Save also cures status afflictions, ailments, whatever. That's probably been long enough for this video right now, so I'm going to cut it off there. So this has been Silver Torin with Let's Play Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. I don't know what an Aria is. We've met a... Well, actually, I kind of do know what an Aria is. We've met a guy who's kind of a jerk. Well, not really. He's kind of a nice guy. He's kind of not a jerk, which is odd. Except he's kind of creepy about what he talks about. And we still don't know why we're going to the Master's Chamber or how we get there. So maybe we'll figure that out next time. Till then... Later.